The concept of wild AIs being beyond the black wall, like, I don't even... How do you comprehend this? What does a wild AI want to do? What is its goal? To learn about the humans? Uh, maybe a question fit for Delamain. And speaking of Delamain... Speaking of Delamain, you texted me. Preliminary diagnostic results are now available. Dear Ms. V, I believe I have discovered the cause of my technical difficulties. Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in critical situations when contact with the core has been ruptured. If my assessment is correct, the AI cores have seceded from the Delamain network and gone rogue. Ah, oh, more rogue AIs, so to speak. I am still attempting to work out how. You mean your cars are sentient? Apologies, it seems my explanation was more than a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation, such as ca cardiomegaly. Unfortunately, however, I'm dealing with a sickness, not evolution. So closer to a virus, I guess. Oh. What do you think could have caused this? Indeed, that is the question. At first, I suspected that the software's increasing complexity and desire to become autonomous resulted in the vehicles to become ipso facto autonomous. Nevertheless, I cannot rule out a virus, for what are the chances that all vehicles would become afflicted simultaneously? I am in the process of analyzing a glitch observed just before contact was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that is where the answer lies? Thank you for your time. I will be in touch. Good stuff. Let me know if something else happens. They really need to fix the thing where the stuff is in the wrong order. It's really confusing to read. Cars for sale! Uh, yeah. The car. Bob. Come back to camp. It's about Jake. It's so ominous. Oh my god. Well, let's go back then. Let's go back. Mm-hmm. Where is That's the nearest... Trash. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> that was an accident. Oh, but there's a quest right here. Yeah, maybe let's do one quest and then we'll fast travel. How does that sound? Maybe this one's closer. I don't know. We'll see. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to run people over. Accidents happen. Don't get so angry. Oh, I want to drive that trauma team truck. Seems fun. This is the century. This is the century. This is, is this one like below? Tell check the attachment. Waiting on your sick. Thanks. Ninth hell. Seventh hell. Jack Mosser. NC's Gonkus Merc did a recent job for me and went too far. Way too fucking far. He was supposed to clip some shards. Quiet like. Except it wasn't fucking quiet. The psycho offed every single guard, beheaded the driver, and blew up the truck. Corpse foaming at the mouth, searching high and low for the prick, and I'll be damned if I go down because of him. Need you to kill him. <laughs> he kinda sounds like me. I mean, sometimes I might just kill everybody too. <laughs> I need you to get inside the club and take his psycho ass down. Preferably on the down low. Don't worry, I'm very good at that. Hi. Is this the back door? Whoa! Think fleas like you just get in for free? You got VIP rooms here? You know, for private shindigs? <laughs> Reserved for the boss and co. Think he could use a little more company, hmm? Don't try to play me. Either I see Eddie's, or your ass is walking. Your voice sounds like a robot. You're an animal. 
Uh, I'll have a look around first. 500 eddies? We can't afford that. Trying to take my entire life savings? Oh, there's gotta be something up there. Can I get up though? Oh, come on, come on, reward me with something here. It's a very small entrance. Mm, there might be a different way. Well, even getting behind the building is kind of a problem here, though. It's so small. <gasps> like earlier, I tried going up here. Hey! Stop that! Make anything back here? Uh-oh. Get the impression I'm not supposed to be back here. Okay, maybe we'll just pay the 500. How about that? <laughs> I think that's probably in our best interest. And as long as we can see the guy, then we can immediately just system reset him or suicide him. Okay, I'll pay. Just chill, all right? Here. Seventh hell. It's a lot easier when you can walk around anyway. Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. <laughs> okay, well, let's drop him then. Not when the guys are right here, probably. Pretty quiet. 4 p.m. Fuck you going. VIP areas for VIPs. No, the boss, we're tight. Boss knows a lot of peeps. Sure as shit ain't tight with a single one. Yeah, but but, 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 but boss said to let nobody in once in a long time. So cut the act. Okay. Turn around or shit gets ugly. Okay. Oh! Oh, this has got to be a Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines reference, right? <laughs> I feel like it is. All we're missing is that third-person cam. Woo! Woo! Alright. The boss... ...is right there! <laughs> I'll save a very nice... Okay, what we gotta do is finish the quest and then come back in and just kill everybody. As long as we do the quest right, it's fine. <laughs> System reset. For... Suicide. Hello, boss. Maybe we can talk to him, too, normally. Don't do this. Wow, perfect. Heard whispers Master bit the concrete. Nicely done. Gig sealed. Your boy Dino needs a drink. Later, V. This is so convenient that I feel like... I don't know, maybe we could have talked to him, though. Because it did say get to him not neutralize him right away. Oh, wait, 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 we should probably collect the reward first. I don't know if it counts as screwing up the quest if you don't. Well, I mean, that guy... Actually, well... I don't know, maybe we could... <sighs> now I'm kind of regretting it. Maybe I shouldn't have offed him so quickly. Hmm. But these gun for hires in the club... This is a really easy way to deal with them, huh? All you gotta have is system reset or suicide. Because I'm thinking about how Dino is mad at him, but he's kind of just like me, so maybe it wasn't even that serious of an issue. I don't know. He pissed off his fixer, and now his fixer is sending someone else after him. End of the story. Why is this draw point so far away? Oh 
Oh my god. Yeah, so I want to go back in and check out the club, actually. It seemed like there might have been interesting stuff in the VIP area, maybe. Or we can, like, loot his gun or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh wow, there's even ads on the ceiling, you're kidding me. Look at that! Where's the hologram even coming from? Damn. Okay, now I have a problem here because where was the seventh hell club? <laughs> I might not remember. Uh oh. Was it this way? I've completely lost my bearings. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Great. Crazy holograms. Good thing the bouncers didn't realize I'm the killer yet. Y'all happy? Oh, but you guys are civilians, right? So you shouldn't be mad at me opening this anyway. Oh, but this person will be. Lady, you were supposed to turn around. Wrong address. Get a map. You were supposed to turn around. Oh my god. Please no. Dude, you broke. Oh, I thought she broke the computer. I look. I didn't mean. I didn't mean for this to happen. But it's fine. Oh, I don't have contagion. Don't kill the civilians! Let's try our best not to. Oh, what about gorilla arms? Still haven't tried it yet after having it for so long. Might be nice to try it, especially on animals. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> the bartender? Just give me a sec, bartender. I. Uh, oh my god! Woo! I think it's probably because I'm using a different kind of... Jeez. Different kind of me Ah! Got a level up too. Uh, maybe I'll just walk in normally to begin with. I'm allowed here. Uh, hey. How's it going? Music in here is god awful. Eh, I like it. Beat keeps me awake. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I didn't even see this before! What was that? We have this kind of thing in uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines too, right? Yeah. Anyway, I don't actually... <laughs> he's not alive anymore. Wanna have a word with your boss? He in? Oh, you're out of luck. He doesn't really like to talk. I don't care if he likes to talk. I asked you if he was here. Uh, sure, he's upstairs in the VIP room. Just... Don't expect a friendly welcome. Yeah. Sorry about your boss, man. What have you got that's good? See for yourself. Nothing on the house, that's what. Holy crap, some of this costs a thousand eddies. You're kidding me. No, thank you. There is a computer there, but we can't go in here. Oddly enough. We can always try here. Pepe, thanks again. Hey, in case you're looking. No, thanks again. Maybe I don't know everything about Cynthia, but I know she loves me. Fuck everything else, right? <laughs> Something like that. Hey, this time I can grab her. No. No. Did you no. see that? You better look away. Y'all need to look away. Important! New owner! I'm sure you already know the club as a new owner, specifically me. So what do you need to know? I've got high expectations and zero patience for those who don't follow through. 
You either give it your all, or you can fuck right off, understood? There will be some changes. Sick leave ends now. You feel shitty? Your problem, not mine. No smoke breaks. Wanna smoke? Do it at home. No private calls during working hours. Lunch time is 30 minutes. Need more time? Stop eating so much. Tips go into the communal pot. I decide who gets how much. <laughs> okay, this was kind of a... This guy was kind of a crappy boss anyway. Maybe we did everyone a favor. Okay. I'm just chilling around looking around here, pretty much. Oh, hey. Jack and Wilson. Wilson, been a while. There's this thing. I got a little too excited on my last gig and pissed off a lot of peeps. I heard. Need some heavy gear in case someone gets a gonk idea if you catch my drift. Got a Mark 31 or Sword 22 lying around? If you do, then I'll take it. Don't care if it's used, just make sure it does what it's supposed to. I'm good for it, so, you know, I want to be 100% sure. Okay, check in. Oh, this might be a guy, actually, I'm not sure. Hey, VIPs! VIP is over here. Yeah, it was great. Until the cops grabbed him. <laughs> Seriously. We were just sitting there at our table, eating, when suddenly they barge in, cuff him, and drag him off. D I don't know. It's... it's a first date. It's not like I'm gonna be like, Hey, by the way, are the cops after you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Martha. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah. Glad you're amused. Of course I'm gonna call him. I had to pay for dinner the gonk owes me. How rude. You're talking on your phone while your friend is standing right in front of you. Hey, lady. Hey. Uh. Wow, would you look at that? Let's see what's crawling around here. This is the... Oh, did I even need to do that? Maybe not. Oh, because probably getting behind here is the... Yeah. Hang on a sec. This is the VIP area. We coo? No one here? I'll take all your money anyway. It's okay guys, I'll put this in the communal pot. I'll make sure everyone gets a tip. It'll be distributed fairly. If I get a say in all of this. Trying to see where I can align these things. Bidi bidi bidi. One C. All right. Not that I really care if anybody gets mad at me. Who is eating in the bathroom? That's disgusting. So I guess the body- oh, the body is still here. Wait, there's two! Why is there two? This is the bouncer. Did I kill him earlier? I didn't think so. Oh, Chromanticore, Lime, hey! Jack and Wilson. Oh, you got this too. Oh, then why did the guy downstairs have that as well? Was that Wilson? Maybe. Well, they've got like a whole... Oh my god, is that... Fries? No, you shouldn't have. I'm hungry. The Odyssey. Say what thy birth and what the name you bore, imposed by parents in the natal hour. For the natal hour distinctive names, one common right the great and lowly claims. Say from what city, from what regions tossed, and what inhabitants those regions boast. So shalt thou, instant reach the realm assigned, in wondrous ships, self-moved instinct with mind. No helm secures their course, no pilot guides. Like man intelligent, they plow the tides, conscious of every coast and every bay that lies beneath the sun's all-seeing ray. Though clouds and darkness veil the encumbered sky, fearless through darkness and through the clouds they fly. Though tempests rage, though rolls the swelling main, the seas may roll, the tempests rage in vain. Even the stern god that o'er the waves presides, safe as they pass and safe repass the tides, with fury burns while careless they convey, promiscuous every guest to every bay. 
These ears have heard my royal sire disclose a dreadful story, big with future woes. How Neptune raged and how by his command. Firm, rooted in a surge, a ship should stand. A monument of wrath, how mound on mound should bury these proud towers beneath the ground. But this the gods may frustrate or fulfill, as suits the purpose of the eternal will. But say though what waste regions has thou strayed, what customs noted, and what coasts surveyed. Possessed by wild barbarians fierce in arms, or men whose bosom tender pity warms. Say why the fate of Troy await thy cares, why heave thy bosom, and why float thy tears. The Odyssey. This suddenly reminds me that we haven't been back to Misty in a while. I heard her tarot card readings have been fixed and we can actually see the cards now. Should probably make a trip to um, look into that sometime. This cool? Am I allowed to be here? Yeah, I'm just a VIP. That's all. Oh, there was another way up anyway. <laughs> you okay, man? You need someone to call the hospital for you? Maybe there's no hostile areas like the proper ones anymore because the guy's dead already, but everyone's still acting as if, you know, everything is normal. <laughs> okay, this part. Please enter individually, it says. I will. I did exactly as you asked. I entered individually. Thank you. There's not even a security camera in, or um, a computer here. BD, 55, FF, E9, F, D. Wonderful. Oh, where does this go? Oh, we could have gone up from like the upper areas. Oh, wow. Why are there cans here? Who else has been up here? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh wow, there were so many different ways to do this, yet I chose probably the fastest, but the way that doesn't let us see most of these things. I probably wouldn't have found this vent anyway. Usually I don't look up, because nobody ever looks up. Okay, well, hey, I guess- oh! Oh wow, okay. I guess we were meant to go from the other way. Huh. I was wondering why you're not standing guard at the doorway anymore, but not my problem, I guess. There is that over there. How do I... how would I get over there? Here? Am I allowed to be here? Well, no one seems mad. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Great. Email your emails. Invoice. Roger to Jack. Dear sirs, requesting payment for wireless boom boom speakers. Final deadline for payment has passed? Oh, last day of the current month. He's not even paying for his speakers in the club. Gig, Sebastian Ibarra to Jack. Seek and you shall find, they say. Sometimes when you aren't even looking, the work finds you. There's this guy, Gustavo Orta. Runs with the Tinos. I've got a client who wants him gone. Can you help? Sorry, Pedrino, baby. I'll pass this time. I'm not looking to step on any Valentino toes. Jack. And then we ended up doing it. But we let Gustavo Orta go. <laughs> oh, is that why this guy is mad at him? Not just that. No, because he apparently skipped out on town for a while and now he's back. A neon typhoon is about to hit America. It's 
Us Cracks and their new shocking single. They have names like superheroes and a brand image that explodes off screen and stage. Us Cracks is a band perfectly suited to the mania, the mania of our times. If you want to stand out in this world, you have to be bigger, brighter, and louder than every ad out there, and they know it. The girls of Us Cracks have become a worldwide laser pop phenomenon. This masterpiece of marketing grew fast in the East, becoming a neon typhoon that swept over Asia, drowned Europe in a flashy chromatic glow, and now is about to make landfall in America. Will we succumb to their savage cuteness and brutal charms? There's no doubt they have a plan to conquer both our hearts and our wallets. Purple Force and her kawaii cohort plan to target a piece of the American soul, our unique combination of rebelliousness and sentimentality. That's why the single they have chosen to promote on the American leg of their tour is a cover of Carrie Uridine hit single User Friendly. A crowd pleasing, but also question raising choice. Could it be Us Cracks wants to present themselves to the American audience as a user friendly craze to be embraced? Or is it maybe some sort of playful jab at the American consumer? Whatever the reason, the more interesting question now is how Uridine himself has reacted to the erection of this intergenerational and intercultural bridge with him standing on one side of it. So far, the rocker boy has refused to comment, and I think we all know what that means. Carrie and the girls from Us Cracks are still holding an ace up their sleeve. Hmm. It's, um. Is it Pom Pom Shit Singer? Us Cracks? Hello. I'm just passing through. Just passing through. Dude, why do the civ the civilians are smarter than the guys sometimes? Where does this go? Hey, I guess there was another way into the club after all. I just don't know where it is. Good, good. Made a pretty penny. Oh, there's still something there. Forget it. We're done. Where are we? What? Where does this go? Nowhere? Like, I feel like even if we jump, we're not getting anywhere here. Because we gotta call the elevator? Oh, it's not here yet. Whoa! Okay. That could have been dangerous. Oh, wow, this random elevator in the middle of nowhere was a way to get in. Oh, it was right here. You're kidding me. Hey, there's more people here now. Okay, cool. Very cool. But why? How would I have ever thought to go into the elevator to get into the club there? That's crazy. Okay, that was kind of a long detour. What do we want to do now? Claire? Yeah, we can drive over to Claire. Do this one, do that one, and then go to Claire. How does that sound? How many more are here? I think if you look in the journal, it only counts the ones where we started the quest. So on the map, there's actually still a bunch more. <laughs> well, I mean, actually not that many more. Compared to the beginning, this is... Yeah, we've been making good progress. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's go to this one then. And then... I think there was also a blue one nearby. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Was I gonna fast travel somewhere? Yeah, I feel like I was. Forget it. Change of plans. I don't even know what I said before. But I had a marker there, so probably I was gonna do something with that. <laughs> oh well. We still need a chance to try out the gorilla arms for real then. Especially before the beat on the brat missions. I don't think the rarity will really change it. Oh, hello. Mind if I just... Yeah, thanks, sorry. What the... Sorry, sorry. Valentino's. Oh, this is a police thingy. But there's no police here. Okay, well, I don't- oh, I think it happened already. Some of the people are just lying around and all that. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, not gonna disturb you then. The thing I'm looking for is down here. Oh, shoot! Oh, thank God for double jump. I know what mierda is. It's shit. <laughs> hey, you've got a nice view here of the waterfront. That's cool. What difficulty is this? Hello? Let's try gorilla arms. Do you think that's too aggressive? I hope not. Oh god, this is taking forever. I know for the beat on the brat one, we should probably be doing more big strikes as opposed to little jabs. Oh, this is taking forever though, holy crap. Are we gonna be okay? Oh boy. Oh, if I do a big jab, they die right away. This is really dangerous. What am I doing right now? Can we at least like synapse burn out some of these people? Did that guy die? Oh god, I don't know what that was. Oh man, oh yeah, the strong attacks are the way to go. Woo! No, hey, what? Are you kidding me? Same lady luck. I changed to a different kind of booster in the middle of the fight. Maybe that was the problem. Thank you. Yo, I like that track, that combat track just now. It kind of reminded me of something that you would hear from Payday 2. I used to really, really love that game. Okay, well, I mean, we survived, but barely. What kind of, what kind of thing am I using now? Max stock, make two. Uh, we'll live with it for now. Instantly restore 60%. Mm. So the bounce back is the kind where even if you lose a little bit of health, you can start taking it right away. This one, you want to lose more health first. I have something you want. Dear sir, you don't know us, but we know you. Over the past few days, we have been closely observing you, unnoticed. We have followed you to your office, to City Hall, to the mail, to the mall, and that inconspicuous little establishment in Little China, opposite the tattoo parlor. We've made some pictures of you entering and leaving, of what you do inside too. Perhaps you'd be interested in recovering these pictures? I'm sure they fit right into your family album. Be at the specified coordinates, alone and unarmed. We will wait precisely five minutes. Otherwise, the pictures will be sent to your family and work colleagues. That doesn't really sound like an amateur photographer. Increases damage by 8. Cold shoulder. Job. Danilo got a job. One of the vo votives. Punks from City Hall want to kick people out of Hanford. Blow up the building. Asked around. Seems All Foods is behind it. Trying to put up another store on the lot. Spent some eddies greasing a wheel named Tim Hutchinson. Take a few chooms. Go talk to him. Just to be clear. Guy should come out of the convo alive. But barely. Fatima. Hmm, doesn't sound related. All foods. All foods? We've only seen one branch. It's the place where Maelstrom made their base. But it sounds like they want to expand. All foods factory. The factory of the popular NUS Noose, food and beverage giant, specialized in producing protein slurries that were marketed as meat or near meat. This Night City branch, however, was shut down unexpectedly and quickly became overrun by members of the Maelstrom gang. It has since served as the gang's main hideout in the industrial Watson district. Yeah, yeah, Jig Jig Street. Every city needs its red light district, does it not? Night City has Jig Jig Street, 
located in a section of Japantown, where not only you can buy love by the hour, but also encounter suspect dealers offering exotic, rare, and very illegal wares. Jig Jig Street doesn't have a reputation for being safe. It's not uncommon to enter with your wallet and leave with a black eye and empty pockets. But in spite of its reputation, it's popular with corpos who like to get their game on before venturing deeper into the city's many attractions. Yeah, it did seem like a fun kind of place, I guess. End cart. Night City Area Rapid Transit is a Night Corp owned city public transportation system, which includes both a metro and street cars. There are currently six lines connecting all the districts, although expansions to the network have been in the works for years. Each end cart station has its own unique atmosphere, and, as its passengers note, unique fragrance. Why? <laughs> End cart can be dangerous at night and during rush hour, as the gangs, mercs, and regular criminals of the city see the stations and tunnels as a natural extension of Night City's streets. On the other hand, they say you don't really know the city until you've taken a ride on the end cart. Unfortunately, here it just shows up as a basic, like a fast travel point, pretty much. Whoa, we have five perk points now. Should probably do something with this. Oh, cold blood is topping out now. Cool is at 12, so let's increase this. Cold blood? We can probably increase it a little bit more. Yeah, at this point, I'm not really thinking that hard anymore. Uh, it looks like I'm giving up on reflexes. I'm not sure if I need to increase body for the beat on the brat stuff. Maybe I'll have a look and try it first now that we have the gorilla arms. Detection time is increased by 20%. Hey, that'll be so good for stealthing. Crit chance increase upon entering combat. You cannot be detected underwater. That doesn't happen enough. Oh yeah, headshots outside combat. All knives apply poison. Yeah, but we don't do the poison stuff. Oh, you can pick up a body immediately after a takedown. That's nice, but is it worth a perk point? Yeah, I never use a melee attack with ranged weapons, pretty much. Landing crit hit has a 25% chance of applying stack of cold blood. Could be good. Oh yeah. Increased damage, melee weapons. Yeah man, we're like maxing out cold blood, I like it. While cold blood is active, immune to bleeding, poison, and burn and shock. But that's level 20. All these further ones are all like really high level. Okay, well, I'm I'm happy for now. For body? Blocking. Increases melee damage by 10%. Simple. Nice and simple. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. Just because I don't want to get beat up by the melee people again. Holy crap, look at my weight. I gotta... Um, I gotta find a vendor somewhere. Execution will be open to the public, and for those who prefer to watch from home, it will be live streamed at the address you see at the bottom of your screen. This event's organizer, Captain there is no address. Incorporated, promises a compelling spectacle as well as attractive prizes for a few lucky viewers. Attention, Charter Hill residents. A recent study commissioned by All Foods has shown hazardous levels of lead and cadmium in your tap water that pose a significant risk to human health. The Night City Department of Water Management has attributed any elevated toxicity to obsolete municipal piping, though has made no plans for their replacement. Drinking bottled water remains the safest way to reduce your risk of waterborne illness. And remember, it's always cheapest at All Foods. This is an ad. Card representatives have said that was an ad. Ongoing delays on the oh, MTV hey, I'm program. sorry. Do you mind if I have this burrito? Thank you. Drinking bottled water is also the, the most expensive. Thank you very much. Okay, that was just a small thing. Oh, we're gonna run at um. Oh, there's no vendor here. No. Virtue. Huh. Okay, what do we have here? Hopefully... Oh, Padre. Hopefully this isn't gonna increase my weight by too much. We got a nice park here. 
Yeah, it feels like it's fit for the family days. Bring your kid here. Oh my god. I thought there was a beat on the brat here for a second. Scared me. <laughs> hey guys, can I join? Can't you see? I'm busy. Sorry. Sorry, have fun guys. It is hard to achieve peace if there is a demon never leaving. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. I like this park. Valentino's. Oh, but you guys, don't defile the park. Keep it nice for everybody. It's a nice park in the... the busy concrete jungle. Get some greens. I mean, look at some greens, get some nice oxygen. <laughs> you start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. For a bunch of money or what? Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being zen? Precisely. No, well, we go from quest to quest. Meditation? Chill out a bit? Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure is a no zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. It's like he knows. I won't hear Johnny anymore? I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. If you're gonna rob me like the other guy, like the scavs, I'm gonna be really angry. Why 144? 12 times 12? This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. While well, I'm in the park, Somebody better be spotting me. This is a meditation of the Earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth, through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth, 
A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? Nice vanishing trick. That's weird. Oh, hey, that wasn't half bad. If you were closing your eyes just listening to him talk, it actually feels like it would be pretty meditative. It's almost like my body is telling me to rest though because that guy just randomly disappeared like that. 